Congratulations. I'm so pleased for both of you. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, we're over the moon. Uh, and Charlie, Charlie's chuffed to have his little baby sister as well. Oh, that's sweet. It's so nice getting good news in a shitty year. Yep. It's a joy for us, for sure. Yeah, it's just a shame that because of lockdown, you don't get to meet little Emma. Uh, still, Fiona and I will send you an awful lot of photographs. I look forward to that. Give Emma a kiss for me. I will do. She's uh, she's asleep now, so uh, maybe we should go over the accounts while we've got some peace. Yes, if we get started on baby talk, we'll be on this call for hours. Oh, I know it. I know it. Um, well, I guess let's cut to the chase. Will I be able to keep the swan open? Yes, I think you will. Um, by any normal standards, it has been a terrible year but the loss is fairly small harry i'm saying this as your friend not just as your accountant as there is no profit you're effectively working for no pay and you're covering the losses we don't know how long it will take for business to recover are you sure you want to continue yeah yeah thanks thank thanks for asking yeah i mean I may have talked this over with Fiona. We think we can manage for now with her salary and our savings. Yeah, things might get tight, particularly with a new mouth to feed. But I love the swan and I would hate to have to sell it up and let go of the staff. Oh, you're a good man, Harry. As your accountant, I advise you to reconsider, but I know that won't make any difference. And personally, I'm glad after all, where else would I get a decent pub lunch? Well, I've been told the Royal Oak does a good lasagna. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> Going back to the accounts, um, I may need to go over them again. There's something that doesn't seem right. Um, oh. Sales have been low since the start of the pandemic. We expected that. But food sales in August are up 20% compared with last year. I... Uh... Yeah, well, that was doing the eat out to help out. I mean, surely we'd expect a bit of an increase then, right? Yeah, but the figure is for net sales. It's what customers pay after their 50% discount has been applied. You would need double the sales to match this corresponding figure from last year. Well, yeah, it did get busy. That's the thing, Harry. I came in a few times on the eat out days. It, it was busier than normal for midweek, but not twice as busy and certainly not enough to compensate for the quiet weekends, let alone to give a net increase. Yeah, yes, some, some days were busier than others, okay? I also looked at food purchases for August. If a lot more meals were sold, they should also be up on last year, but they were slightly down. Well, it... Okay, what are you saying? Well, maybe I made a mistake. Well, that doesn't sound like you, does it? If there hasn't been a mistake, if it was deliberate, then... Then? Then it looks like fraud. Fraud? Inflating the sales would allow for a bigger claim from the Eat Out to Help Help Fund. Yeah, yeah but there wouldn't any misreporting. It was show up in the till receipts, right? Yeah, someone could write up fake receipts to cover it. The more I think about it, the more I think that must be what happened. I would need to go over the receipts to be sure, but, but why would anyone do that unless they had a direct stake in the business? And who would know enough to do it? Oh, Harry, tell me you didn't. I, I... Harry? Harry? Look. I had to do something, right? I can't afford to carry a big loss. I, I would have had to sell. Everyone would lose their jobs. The swan would be turned into flats. I, I couldn't just let that happen. Harry, people go to prison for this sort of thing. Only if they're caught. I caught you. God knows. I wish I hadn't. Yes, but but I have. Sign... Yeah, but if you sign off the accounts, who, who would notice? No one else check the accounts as carefully as you do. <laughs> But that's, that's not the point. I'm a professional accountant. I have to uphold the law. Why? Even if someone did notice, well, you could say you missed it. You'd get a slap on the wrist at most. Yes, but... 
defrauding the government is wrong. So is false accounting. I took an oath not to do that. I didn't want to involve you, but I was sure that I could count on you if I needed to. I, I wouldn't have done it otherwise. Harry. Sarah, you're almost family. Surely you'll help me out. If not for my sake, what about, what about Fiona? What are we going to do to her if I was locked up? What about Charlie and, and Emma? Do you, do you want to take away their father? Harry, that is not fair. This whole situation isn't fair. The fact that I could lose this business isn't fair. The fact that the people who work here and lose their jobs isn't fair. The situation like this, well, we all have to decide what we're prepared to do. But to commit fraud. Sarah, I need to know what you'll do. I need to know what I've got to go and tell Fiona when we finish this meeting. So what will it be? Will you sign off the accounts? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know.